So, good morning again, or whenever this gets posted. Uh, do some couple things today. I am going to be using a borrowed razor from a fellow groomsman, that being Jonathan, and that is the PAA Metaphor, which is based on their Prismatic, which is based on a, a Larish razor of some sort that I don't remember, but if you really want to know every single thing about this, you can just go look it up on PAA. We'll talk more about that in a second here. Speaking of PAA, I'm going to be using Speakeasy because I finally have a whole set. And in fact, I ended up with uh, an extra CK1 that's been scooped once that I'm planning to probably try to trade here in the near future. I already whipped, whipped up the lather. Uh, we're going to have using the the amber air light today and then and further um further uh dedication to jonathan and to thank him for letting me borrow this razor i'm going to be using some parasso pre-shave just what our boy likes to get get down with let me get this going here just shaved yesterday that video is probably already up. I'm gonna have a bit of a backlog of videos. Just kind of taking the week to film as much content as I can because graduation is in like five weeks and I'm gonna be busy, so. But I just used the Speedway razor yesterday, so if that's not up yet, Look for it, and if it is up, go check it out. Got a couple other things planned to do this week. And we'll go. All right, so let's get this lather out of the brush on my face here. I like Speakeasy a lot. Not enough to have two CK1s on hand, necessarily, but I like it a lot. I know a lot of people like it, and a lot of people think it's too feminine because it has florals. But you know what? Florals are a good thing. I mean, what would, you know, men's cologne be without iris or geranium or um, even rose? which I think is the flower, the floral in question here with a lot of other stuff going on. I don't really bother breaking down the scents anymore. I don't really bother telling you what the notes are anymore. But if you're interested, there's probably a reason why you're watching this video. And if you're interested after watching the video, you can go look it up. But just classic masculine scent to me. Really inoffensive, really nice. Not grandfather-ish really, not like a, say a uh, PAA doppelganger tricolor. Speaking of colors, not the tip I would have gone with. I had a Doc Ascension with a sci-fi blue that I gave away in the trade, but John loves green, so here you go. So I got a second use Gillette Silver Blue, and let's just get to it. This is supposed to be a very efficient, yet mild feeling razor, which probably explains why they just don't stay in stock. Handle, obviously, stainless steel. Again, not looking at the specs, but just looking at it. I'd be surprised if the head's stainless as well. I, I mean, the, the head on the Ascension isn't stainless steel. It's a, some sort of alloy, and that's probably what they've done here as well. Good weight on the handle, nice heavy handle. If you don't like heavy handles, looking at you, Rex Bethune, you know. Get it and send me the handle and I'll give you a lighter handle. I've got a R41 Grand 
grande handle, whatever it is, uh, that I'm never gonna use. So if you want a big slippery handle that's a bit lighter than this one, just, just say the word, I'll trade you just about anything for that. So. Definitely mild. It's got a nice long head. What can I compare it to here? Yeah, it's, if you can see in here, just against the rock well, obviously, there's a bit more length in the width of the meta. But it's got a really flat head with that excessively round shape there, not excessively, but extremely rounded shape there. So I'm looking forward to taking this under the nose. And seeing what it does there. Uh, it's very gentle. I'm planning to film a comparison video this Sunday with this and another well-known razor. And I... No one's done it and it's for obvious reasons because they really don't belong together but i'm gonna do it anyways because i just have it in my head that it'll make a good video yeah I mean, it's super general i would say this would make an, a really good travel razor except and which is what i would like to get one for except if the width of the head I think is gonna make it kind of hard to fit in my own travel setup. Dang. Oh, did we get it? I may have just gotten away with some dumbassery. Oh, yeah, it gets right up under the nose, no issues. Wow, super gentle. Not bad on the first pass either. All right, so let me rinse and repeat here. Just gonna lather up quickly. Might even opt, might even edit it out. Man, did I really slam the CK1 lather today in the bowl. Basically had like the perfect amount of lather to soap scoop ratio going on. It was like, didn't have to add any water at all. I was just like, oh, this is perfection which I have a tendency to get with the CK6 and not as often with the CK1. And if you've seen my CK1 for beginners video, you know this stuff can take a lot of water, but we nailed it today. It's like hitting every green light on the way to work when you can just nail the lather and dial it in without having a fuss. It doesn't happen very often. It's something to be celebrated. So let's hear it. I wanna hear about it in the comments. All right. Get so much lather. So. Let's get it. I'm gonna start on the bottom of the non-dominant side here, where I've been having my issues. Oh, it's just so sweet. It's like a sweet, my goodness.
It's doing something for sure. Now I'm I'm usually more of a blade positive blade feel preferential shaver, but I mean look at this is just loading up here too. I've been treating this like it it's basically supposed to be clog proof and I've been rinsing it out of habit. So I'm gonna really test it right now, I think. So I just did one side of the blade on this pass with the entire neck. So try to do the same thing on the face. Maybe not the mustache. Well, yeah, here clog proof, obviously. You're gonna think open comb, especially an open comb gem situation, which honestly sounds like my nightmare. She was wrong, man. I feel like I should have rinsed it like 17 times. If you ever have to shave a balloon in a contest and you're allowed to pick your own razor, get a metaphor and put some big money on it. Cause not only will you not pop that balloon, but you will not have to worry about rinsing that bad boy. I am gonna rinse it now though, but count down from three to look away. Three, two, one. Shape slurry, here we go. Look at all that. That's my neck and what, three quarters of my face? Seven eighths, five eighths maybe, I don't know. More than half, less than all. Wow, color me impressed. I mean, it is the opposite of the double open comb in terms of blade feel, in terms of angles. I mean, it's very forgiving. It's very gentle. So if you, I mean, I, I had the dock for a while and I don't dislike it, but it was not a good autopilot razor, especially when recording because I would have a tendency to cut myself. Now, granted, I had it when I wasn't as experienced with all this as I am now, but you'd have to find that perfect angle, like the absolute perfect angle, zero wiggle room to either get a good shave or not cut yourself. And I got one spot right here I'm gonna do a touch up on. You know what, just hang, we're not that far into it. Come on, one sec, yes sir. When, can you, after you did that video today, can you do the block sound so I can do something? Well, we're gonna do school. Yeah. We'll talk when I'm almost done, okay? Foolishly thought I might make it through. Yeah, this is excellent shape. I gotta start using that pre-shave more often.
Get in a, get in a good shape. I have a lot of weird growth pattern on the neck, so. And it doesn't quite wanna, and I'm using a silver blue. I bet if you use this with a not nasset, which I hate nassets or a feather, I mean, you're, you're golden. This is a tough area for me to shave. Most of the time, but I'm not gonna overshave. Rarely do I ever break out of my face. But I've been pushing the envelope lately. And I don't feel like it's worth it right now. I mean, does anybody want me to send this to them? <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting so much lather. I didn't have that big a scoop either. It just exploded today. It was just like a perfect storm. Probably try to recreate that magic the rest of my life. All right, so let me do my post-shave routine here. Look at all that. That's a whole, another two passes at least right there, I bet. If I were more metal, I'd probably shave till I was out of lather, but we're not gonna go there today. So, uh, with Chazel, I'm using the facial toner, unscented stuff from Thayer's. Trying to convert to this because I have a little one that travels with me and I gotta, Travel shave coming up here. So yeah, if you're on the fence about the metaphor, I I say go for it. Am I talking to myself a little bit maybe? Well, I get one maybe. Especially if I found one used and already in like a color tip that I wanted. Like John, you you can have all the green, my friend. I am not a fan of the green. It's all you, brother. Or just don't have a color tip, I guess. I don't know. But where's the fun in that? So we got our lovely lady here for the speakeasy. And I've had this soap that I've used today for a few months. I just hadn't had the splash. And the guy was basically selling a once you or one scoop CK1 with a once used splash for the price of a splash. That was an absolute no brainer. And if I can't trade the other one, I'll just give it to someone. <clears throat> it's a friend, not just anyone. That's my giveaway. I almost gave it to my dad for his birthday, but... Didn't want to try to explain that scoop. He'd be weirded out by that. Trust me, I can't even get him to use a vintage razor that I've thoroughly cleaned and sanitized, but yeah. And there we go. DFS. I rarely... Like once in a blue moon, get a BBS, and I usually pay for it, so I don't chase it. But that's a good shave right there, folks. You can you could do a lot, you could do a lot worse, that's for sure. All right, so I got some other razors or another razor to use this week for a review, um, and then I have a plan for this one for the weekend, and then we'll see what comes to me next. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's shave. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please comment. I try to get to the comments as often or as quickly as I can. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time.